Hi the crafters and welcome to another Creative Expressions uh, Treasure Chest event with me James Hembro. Thank you for joining me today. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, leave any comments below as well if you wish. All the links are below for the fantastic offer that we've got for you today as well. And it is another fantastic deal in our treasure chest uh, today. It's over 70% off. The RRP on this bundle alone is £68.73. And I'm going to give you the price straight away because it's just £19.99. That's right, it's £19.99. So 20 quid for everything I'm about to show you inside of the treasure chest on today's event. So let's have a little look now straight away and uh, I'll show you what we've got. We've got a really fantastic range of paper cuts. Now these are hugely, hugely popular. Paper cuts I know are always a, a, a massive, um, uh, a massive, a lot of excitement around the different designs and whenever I've uh, shown these before, I know they've always sold out. And this is a fantastic range of dies that we've got from paper cuts. So let's just take a look at the designs. We've got It's Wine O'Clock, uh, Don't Worry, Beer Happy. <laughs> uh, you are the Gin to My Tonic and the uh, Prosecco Princess. So if you haven't seen these before, the clever nature with the paper cuts, I always like to call them as a one cut wonder. And that's exactly what they are. They are one cut. You pass them through the uh, machine and they will cut out everything for you and they've been ever so cleverly designed by Kathy Shutterworth from Creative Expressions here with the, uh, the designs so you get the positive and the negative and they work fantastic as card edges so you get all four of those dies and they are huge as you'll see in some of the samples for 19.99 but that's not everything you also are going to get a pixie powder absolutely perfect for creating your backgrounds that will work so so well with these paper cuts you're also going to get a sparkle shaker as well which is some of our ultra fine sparkle uh, smooth glitter that we've got and this is the cerise pink color that we've got here and they come in like a little pepper pot type shaker so come with a little top that you can open up and then shake that over top of your adhesive sheets or double-sided tapes to create some really nice effects. And we've also got a Cosmic Shimmer Lustre Polish, and this is in an absolutely fantastic apple fizz color that looks absolutely, look at that, absolutely fantastic glittery mousse inside there in one of our novel dispensing pots. So we're gonna have a look at those three in a little bit more uh, detail in a moment, but let's have a look at what the design team have been up with these fantastic range of dyes that we've got here. Um, this one is absolutely fantastic with the, the cutout of the gin to my tonic. You can see how it's all about the backgrounds with these designs, using the glitters like we've included in the treasure chest bundle today. Uh, it's wine o'clock. Again, you can use them with your embossing folders. This again is with a, a pixie powder background or pixie bursts of sparkles. So you could do a similar background with the mango blaze that we've got included in the treasure chest. Uh, it's wine o'clock here. We've got this as a, a lovely little fold out card. Look at that. Just looks absolutely stunning. There's so much you can do with these. And so these are all, as I say, sort of one cup wonders, as I tend to call them. This absolutely brilliant, the background here with the fluffy stuff across the top, some glitter, uh, the background using some of our crystal tints, if you want to create that similar. But this is just that one cut. You run it through your machine and it will do all of that for you. Uh, it's wine o'clock. I love this with the clock background. I think it's really clever. If I just open that up, I just want to show you this. This is actually what that design will cut. It's wine o'clock and it does that in one pass. And here you can see you can back it with different colored papers and maybe add mirror card. But that actual design is cut out in that one pass right the way through, even the cutouts of these glasses in that one die. Ever, ever so clever, the uh, paper cuts. And that's why they're hugely popular every time that I show these in uh, different ways. Prosecco Princess there. This one, look at that with all the, uh, the glitter on the background. Prosecco Princess, again, with that design. And I love what the, the design has done here and actually picked out that uh, bottle detail, made it into a little embellishment. So you can snick into these dies. Done it myself, create some amazing little details. It's wine o'clock. All these glasses around the outside have actually come from these cutaways inside the uh, the the die design itself. So again, there's so much you can do with these. I love that design, I think that's great. Another one with the fluffy stuff on, uh, the Beer Happy, great design there. Again, using some of the glossy accents on here. Um, just using some nice different kind of cardstock, cutting in uh, the, so this Happy that's been cut out, the, the bit that you'd normally throw away, the design has gone in and placed that back on top of the card. And it even used it as a stencil, you can see there as well in the, in the background. So so much you can do with these paper cuts. 
just a couple more to share with you. Love the fade on here that's been done, probably using one of our colour clouds there by the looks of it, the uh, beer happy. And finally, you are the gin to my tonic. Again, just shaping that and then making the rest of the card look like a, uh, a glass set. So let me pop all these to one side and let's have a little bit of a play with some of the Cosmic Shimmer products. Because I was saying to you just a few moments ago how great they are to create backgrounds like that we've got here, the design is done with that background, maybe with the glitter as well, and also the polishes. So let's pop the dies to one side as well. And I'm gonna start off by having a look at the Pixie Powder Mango Bays. Now what this is, is a um, dry powder with dye and um, pigment powders, dye-based, water-based um, pigment powder, um, but it's, it's completely dry, so you activate it with water, and also a uh, very fine mica powder in there. Now, it comes with a little protective seal, so I've just unscrewed the bottle, just to remind you all, if you get these at home, peel off that top, and then you screw that back on, and then you're ready to go, and all the dispensing is then done through this ultra-fine nozzle on the top. So this is Mango Blaze. I'm just going to show you how to use them to create a really quick, simple background. So I'm just going to use a normal bit of um, cardstock, bright white, and just give it a spritz of water just to moisten the cardstock so when it cut it lay flat because I'm going to put a lot of water on this and I want the card to stay nice and flat. So if I spray it on both sides, that's going to uh, allow it to remain flat whilst we're working with it. We're going to go, going to go over the top with our mango, uh, mango blaze and all you do is you tip it upside down and just sort of poof it over, <laughs> technical turn, over the top of your cardstock, tapping the bottom of it, and then you're going to get some of the powder, both the mica and the, um, the pigment, onto your project like that. So great for backgrounds. This is what it's all about. With these quick and easy backgrounds. And now I'm going to spritz it with just normal tap water, and you watch what happens. It absolutely comes to life with all of this absolutely amazing colour that fireworks out. You can see that already with what we've got how that's created that amazing background. Now that, as you can see, the car's not curled because I wetted it first. But if I just lift it up, it may run. There you go. You can see all of these little bits of detail that you get here that fire work out. All of that makes absolutely perfect backgrounds for your uh, paper cuts. And also you can even use this to die cut into as well. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. and I'll show you how some of that looks when it's actually dry because there's lots and lots of different um, techniques you can create with it. So using just the Mango Blaze alone on dark cardstock, look at that, it's absolutely stunning. You've got that lovely peachy orange colour there with yellow in amongst it. And then on the bright white cardstock, when it's dry, covering the whole area, that's what you get. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just going to focus there, there we go. You can see that mica content. So when it dries, you get that shimmer and you get that dye content underneath. And that's what creates these stunning, stunning backgrounds. So depending on how much water you add or how much powder you add, you're gonna get these different techniques. So if you use less powder, you can get a really nice mottled effect. And the more you use, you can get that more mica. You can see that showing up there, that lovely orange sort of peach effect there as well. There's a whole range of colors in our pigment um, pixie powder range that you can use to mix with these. This is just one to get you started, but it just shows you what you can create just using that one color alone. So that's one very quick technique using that. Let's have a quick look also at our luster polish. Now this again is a water-based product, comes like that with a clever dispensing system with a sponge built in the top. If you've seen any of our products like this in the glass jars before, you, know, you can use that as a little palette and then get your sponge and then you just create a little tiny slope on the side, a little ski slope, and then you just load the product onto your sponge like so. Take the excess off the edge and away you go. So this is a really, really highly pigmented, an awful lot of colour in this, um, which you'll see how rich it is. And also some really large shards of mica, which means you can actually buff it. So I'm just going to go over the top with some um, white cardstock, load up the product onto the sponge and straight away you can see how highly pigmented that actually is. And it dries really, really quick. Now, because of the mica content in this, you can already see it starting to shimmer there. But what you need to do is just go in and just buff the product and it will start to really work the mica up. So you can see how quick that's dry. Can you see that shimmer now on that mica, how that is shown? So just like any of our mica products, you can actually 
buff it up. And it's something we often forget to say or show that you get this almost mirror like finish and it dries that quick. It really is an amazing product to work with that quickly. Now it looks brilliant on all of your cardstock. It doesn't have to be light, it can be dark cardstock as well. You get these stunning effects on dark cardstock. It hasn't got an interference, so it does keep that original color, which is the Apple Fizz color that we've got in today's um, treasure chest. But um, also over the top of your embossing folders, again, using the sponge applicator that's included, it means you can just swipe over the top and look at that. It creates an amazing effect right over the top of your embossing folders really, really quickly. It picks out all of that detail. And the more you go in with, the stronger the color gets, and look at that shimmer. Now again, I can emboss that if I wanted, but the texture of the embossing folder is bringing out that detail. And it's not only on the white cardstock, you're gonna get that effect. You can also go straight over the top of your darker cardstock as well, shown here. If I load the product on a bit more, you can see how strong an effect I can get on my dark cardstock. So whether it's dark or light cardstock, amazing backgrounds. Look at that, if you think you've got the, um, Prosecco Princess maybe did these in different colors or we've got the uh, the gin and tonic sort of colors as well. Great backgrounds to use with those paper cut dies. Again, all of this included for just $19.99 in today's treasure chest. Now you can also stamp with this product as well. And I just wanted to show you really, it is very quick and easy to work with. It does dry quickly. So you just need to give it a little spritz, but this is just using a regular rubber stamp and I've just gone ahead and stamped onto some light cardstock and you can see that mica content that's showing through your stamped image, really, really different. Works on black cardstock as well, not quite so easy to see. I would use this as a sort of a background technique and then probably go over the top with something that's matte and layered, like the finished stamp on lighter cardstock, but I really, really love the sheen that you get on these stamped images. So you can stamp with your lustre polish as well. Just make sure before you go in and stamp it down, little spritz of water from, a, from a, a normal spray bottle just to moisten the product to make it easier to apply to uh, the cardstock. You can also um, paint with it as well. So you can turn this into a little paint. So if I just take a little bit of product here and just bring in my craft sheet in the corner here, and just mix a little bit of water with it, I can make a really nice shimmer paint with this. And you can, it may not be coming out, but I can really see the mica content in this. And I can go into my detail here, pick out some of these leaves here. And again, the more water you add, the lighter the color is gonna get, the more pigment I pick up, or the more polish that I include, then I'm going to get a really nice dark color. But once that dries, it's also going to have that fantastic lustre polish shine and shimmer that we're seeing in our matte polish. So you can see there how you can work with that and use it as a water-based paint as well. Really, really quick and easy to work with in that way. So there's lots you can do with it. There's even techniques you can do, and I appreciate this is using slightly different colors because I've mixed in two or three colors. We do lots of different color ranges in this family. So this is a great way of having a play and seeing how they work. But this is a technique using cling film and you can actually apply it to your cardstock, put your cling film, take your cling film off after it's just starting to dry and you get a lovely, lovely texture in the lustre polish. And you can even then apply the cling film over the top of a clean sheet of cardstock and then you create some amazing shimmery backgrounds as well. So lots and lots of different techniques that you can do with the lustre polish. So I'm just gonna put that back on. I'm gonna bring in what we've got in today's treasure chest. So I brought to you the uh, Prosecco Princess Gin to my tonic, beer happy. It's wine o'clock. We've got the amazing lustre polish I've just been showing you there. Not forgetting the pixie powder and also the ultra fine glitters from our shimmer shakers, which if you've used glitter before, this is a very, very, very fine glitter. Dead easy to dispense in that dispenser as well. So everything you see inside the treasure chest today is just $19.99 in today's treasure chest event offer. That's an amazing 70 or over 70% off. It's a great deal. Normally it's £68, 73p for everything that uh, you saw there on my craft desk. Don't forget, it's only whilst stocks last. Um, all the links are below there to take you to the Creative Expressions website to be able to get that amazing 
amazing bundle. I really hope you enjoy playing with it as much as I do. I know it's a great collection of paper cuts. I know this one's going to be huge to huge and popular. So I head over there now. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us here at Creative Expressions so you get kept up to date with all of our treasure chests and other events that we've got going on. But until next time, happy crafting. And I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon.